Good morning folks, for this video we're going to go for a bit of a drive and when we do these driving videos we like to try and weave some kind of theme into it and for today's theme something very rare is happening I'm opening my wallet because the Bank of Scotland issued this series of banknotes that featured the bridges of Scotland and we're going to go and try and visit all these bridges Now the first ones are Inverness, that's a bit of a drive for us so by the magic of editing let's get there a wee bit quicker Here we are in Inverness, the sun is shining and we're about to cross the first of our bridges, the Keswick Bridge. Now this might not be the most interesting one on the tour, but it certainly is the most valuable. This one features on the £100 note, and no I don't have one. It's not very exciting, is it? Right, we should try and get a wee bit closer to the bridge and maybe get a view of it like it's got on the bank note. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be cool. We just need to work out how to get down there. We don't really have time to walk because we've got a lot to do today, so we'll try and drive down there if we can. Hey, that's quite cool, isn't it? Looks pretty cool from here, yeah. Okay, let's go down there. So there we go, the Keswick Bridge that connects Inverness with the Black Isle. And we're on the Black Isle side at the moment. It was completed in 1982 and is modelled on a bridge that crosses the Rhine near Dusseldorf. Like I say, not the most exciting bridge on this tour, but I still like it. That's cool. I don't know, I've got respect for that bridge. I like that they didn't put like the most famous bridge as the £100 note, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's true. But now we must move on because we've got a lot to do today and our next bridge, we do actually have the note for that one in my wallet and we're trying to get there at a certain time and that'll all make sense very soon. Let's go. Let's go. It's such a dinky wee bridge, isn't it?
We're now approaching the second bridge and it's a viaduct, the Glenfinnan Viaduct. Now the Glenfinnan Viaduct features on the Scottish £10 note and I'm a wee bit worried about this one because will we get parked? We're filming this during the Easter weekend so it's super busy but if we get there at a certain time, fingers crossed we'll be able to show you something pretty special. Here it is. Right here goes, let's see if we can get parked. Is it in here? It looks quite full. £3.50! <laughs> well, that's the first car park and we've got nothing. Let's move on. We've got a bit of time, which should be okay, but still. As expected, we've just had to kind of abandon the van here. Oh, she's got a hat on, this is getting serious. Yeah, it's so busy and I think it's because we're here at the time when the steam train is meant to cross over the viaduct, so it's the proper Harry Potter experience, isn't it? What's the name of the Harry Potter train? Oh, I don't know. Ah, ah Hogwarts Express. Yeah, well done. Now we have been here before and the last time we were here we saw the train crossing the viaduct and there's a wee spot just up on the hill that is the kind of prime place to get the best angle of the train coming over. So we'll head up there just now. In fact, looking up there, we can see quite a few people waiting already, even though it's still a wee bit of time before it passes. I tell you what, this viaduct isn't only beautiful, but it blends in so well with the surroundings, almost camouflaged. Up, up, up. Right, we've mucked up a bit. The afternoon train doesn't actually start until May, so that's a wee bit long to wait, isn't it? Yeah. But the morning train should be returning at around about three o'clock, and that's in about an hour and 20 minutes. We're gonna come back for you, okay? Deal? Deal. Let's do it. We're down here on the banks of Loch Shiel, and it's from this point that Bonnie Prince Charlie in 1745 launched the Jacobite Rebellion. And in fact, we've got a monument to that very event just up there behind us. But to be honest with you, it's the view that steals the show. Right, here we go again, back across the bridge, back up the hill and hopefully this time we'll actually see the train. I'm actually going to head up to the other side. I thought this might be private property, but there seems to be quite a few people coming up this way, so we should get a view of the train coming towards us at least.
I know it's a Saturday, but look how popular this place is. Right, let's get out of here. Honest assessment of that, it's actually quite disappointing because there's no steam coming out the steam train when it went over the bridge. So it just looked like a normal train and it was absolutely packed. And good luck to us getting out this car park as well. So I would say if you're passing and it's about to happen and you can get a space, nip in and have a look at it. Otherwise, just come and see the viaduct. It's worth it for that. Working over the Erskine Bridge, but this bridge doesn't feature on any banknotes, so it's not part of the tour, I'm afraid. But I think we're done for tonight. It's like almost 7 pm. I don't think we're going to get any more of our bridges tonight. It's going to have to roll on to tomorrow, I'm afraid. It's a nice end of the day. It is indeed. So that's us made it down to the seaside in air. We're going to park up somewhere here tonight. No idea where. I wish we could ask you, but I'm sure we'll find something. There must be loads of places down here. But anyway, that's us for the night and we will see you first thing in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good morning folks, we're starting the day in Alloway just outside air. Now this is home to Robert Burns, it's home to bridge number three and unfortunately it's also home to a lot of parking restrictions. So I've quite literally dumped the van up there, we'll race down to the bridge, take a few clips and then we'll move on. And there behind me you can see what bridge number three is, it's the Brigadoon and that features on the Bank of Scotland £5 note which I've not been able to get my hands on, so I'm a wee bit disappointed about that. But anyway, let's go and have a look at this bridge.
So there we go, the famous Brigadoon, but in fact we're standing on a bridge, we're looking at a bridge, and on the other side of the road there's another nice bridge, we're so spoilt for choice here. We'll go down and have a closer look in a moment, but what a place this is! So here we are walking across the famous old Brigadoon, a bridge of course immortalised by Burns's Tam O'Shanter, but for us today it's no more than bridge number three. I will really need to come back here at some point, maybe find a parking space and then explore this place properly because Alloway has got so much to offer, including of course Burns' birthplace and his cottage, but that's for another day. I used to live in Queen's Ferry and I've never seen it this busy before. The cars just go on forever, way up past Dalmeny. It's crazy. Easter Sunday, I guess. But as we pass right under the bridge just now, we're going to avoid the crowds. Instead of going left, we're going to turn right because we're going to try and recreate this scene that's on the banknote. Have you found it? Yes. Well, the fourth bridge, there's not much more to say. We've been here so many times. 6.5 million rivets hold that bridge together. And one of us has been to the very top. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. It's very impressive. I was brave. Day, but the barriers are up. Does that mean you don't have to pay? I've never been here. 
I've been here once during my failed walk to Glasgow. I remember. So here we are at our final banknote, the £50 note. Of course I don't have a £50 note, but this is the structure that features on it. I'm not actually going to say much about the Falkirk wheel just now because the plan is to come back sometime and do a proper video on it, have a wee whirl myself. But basically you've got two canals that connect Edinburgh and Glasgow and those canals are at different elevations so this is needed to connect the two of them. And this now means that you can go all the way from Edinburgh to Glasgow by barge or canal boat but I'd like to come back sometime as I say and have a shot myself. And that's it all over, that's been some journey, that's been a lot of driving to see those five banknotes, isn't it? Yeah. Are you tired? A bit. Two days, but an intense two days. It was a lot of fun though. And thanks for coming along. And I guess this is when we say goodbye. See you in the next one. Bye. And just as we leave the Falkirk wheel, I had a question. Is this a bridge or is it a wheel? And someone's got the answer. So the answer is yes, it is a bridge. It's a unique lifting bridge designed to reconnect Forth and Clyde and Union Canals between Glasgow and Edinburgh. So the wheel's a bridge. So the wheel is a bridge even if it doesn't connect anything visibly, it is a bridge. And that's official. Let's go home. Let's go home.